A special edition of the Recruiting Roundup this week, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity. Scout.com's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. Huge showdown in Nevada this Saturday night. Bishop Gorman against Chandler High School. State champions, five star, four star, three star recruits all around. Let's dive into this game. Some of the matchups that we like. Got to start with the quarterbacks, the high profile position, and these two guys are as good as it gets. Yeah, both uh, schools have quarterbacks that are committed to Division One programs. Chandler High School. Mason Moran committed to Oregon State was fantastic last week and actually his first varsity start at quarterback. Now the the team that the, the Arizona fans might not know too much about Bishop Gorman. Their quarterback is a junior. He's a five-star prospect, Tate Martell. He had offers from all over the country. He's the number two quarterback in the nation by Scout.com and he really recently committed to Texas A&M. So those of us that have been around and seen the Chandler High School team, we know they are loaded at wide receiver. Bishop Gorman will counteract that with a loaded secondary. Yeah, you, you look at. Chandler. They have Nikhil Harry, four-star prospect. Chase Lucas plays some running back and some receiver as well for Chandler, four-star player as well. And then Colby Taylor, a junior, has is a three-star prospect. All of those guys have Division One offers. Now the Bishop Gorman secondary is led by their junior prospect, Alex Perry. He's a national top 100 uh, player, committed to Arizona State. And then their other player, Bubba Bolden, another junior, three-star player that has multiple Division One offers. And now let's flip it. Wide receivers for Bishop Gorman, DBs for Chandler. Yeah, you look at Ty John Lindsay is the four star. He's the stud at Bishop Gorman. This junior class for Bishop Gorman is absolutely loaded, and Lindsay is only a, a junior. Has offers from everywhere, all over the country. Now you look at uh, Chandler secondary, led by Kyrie Woods, committed to San Diego State. But a little intriguing matchup, a little tidbit I like is Coach Aguano told me that Chase Lucas is going to play some uh, play some DB this season. What better time to spotlight it and to do it is, is in this matchup against two top ten heavyweights. We mentioned Nikhil Harry already. As one of the wide receivers. We saw him a little bit against Pinnacle last week playing outside linebacker. Your thoughts? He has the, the body makeup for it. Do you think that this could be a position he could see more of in the future? I've actually thought for about the last two years that, that Nikhil could be a defensive player at the next level. I saw him two springs ago at Chandler High School playing free safety. And I really, really like him. I think he's long, rangy. He's got the size. He's only going to get bigger. He's like 6'4, 215 pounds right now. So when he gets into a college weight program, he's only going to get bigger. So I, I see that potential at the next level, although Nikhil tells me that no colleges are recruiting him as a defensive player as of yet. So that's with Chandler. Let's go over Bishop Gorman, a few more prospects that we want to make sure to spotlight for those not as familiar with this program that Chandler High School is going to face this week. Yeah, I told you that their junior class is absolutely loaded. And then uh, uh, another guy, four-star defensive tackle, Haskell Garrett, another guy that has offers from everywhere. Then uh, a household name is Muhammad Ali. Well, his grandson actually plays running back for Bishop Gorman, Biagio Ali Walsh, and he's a guy that is a good athlete in his own right, has Division I offers, Louisville being um, one of them. They know their senior class, their top prospect is Akeem Okiki, and he has several Division I offers as well. So the table is set. Thanks to Jason Jewell, Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity Chandler versus Bishop Gorman Saturday on ESPNU.